St. Hilary said, Bodies corrupted by lust are the dwelling places of devils. End quote. In the books of Samuel, or First and Second Kings, if you have a Douay Reims Bible, we read about David. God specifically replaced King Saul with David because God sought a man after his own heart. In Acts 13.22 we read, quote, And when God had removed him, Saul, he raised them up David to be king, to whom giving testimony he said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man according to my own heart, who shall do all my wills, end quote. David was carefully chosen by God because God looked down upon David in his private life in the pastures of his father and saw that he was a man after his heart. We read the following about how God raised David out of almost total obscurity in his father's fields to be the head of his glorious kingdom, all because he saw that he was a man after his heart. Second Samuel 7, 8, quote, And now thus shalt thou speak to my servant David. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I took thee out of the pastures from following the sheep to be ruler over my people Israel, and I have been with thee wherever thou hast walked, and have slain all thy enemies from before thy face, and I have made thee a great man, like unto the name of the great ones that are on the earth. End quote. The way that the Lord picked David out of the fields of his father to be the head of his kingdom reminds us of how the Lord sees everything. He tells us that those who are faithful in small things, wherever they might be, will be put over big things. Luke 19.17, And he said to them, Well done, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a little, thou shalt have power over ten cities. End quote. Or in Matthew 25.21, Because thou hast been faithful over a few things, I will place thee over many things. End quote. David displayed his great faith by overcoming Goliath and winning other victories for the people of God. God helped and protected him because he did the Lord's will. But then David saw Bathsheba and lusted after her. Consenting to this lust, David put himself into a state of sin. He then committed adultery with her and had her husband murdered by deliberately putting him into a fatal spot of a war. It is clearly indicated in 2 Samuel 12.13 that David would have spiritually died, meaning he would have been damned, if he had not sincerely repented and completely turned from this sin. We must think of the tragic fall of David, the cataclysmic fall of a man who is especially chosen by God, to the blind state of a selfish adulterer and murderer, was all caused by a sin of lust and impurity. Lust and impurity can and does destroy that which is so precious and holy. This also reminds us of what we read in Matthew 6, 22-23, quote, The light of thy body is the eye. If the eye be single, thy whole body shall be lightsome. But if thy eye be evil, thy whole body shall be darksome. If then the light that is in thee be darkness, the darkness itself how great shall it be, end quote. Darkness or evil can come into the soul through the eyes, by looking at impure images or by consenting to impure and lustful thoughts. For more information, see our website, vaticancatholic.com.